guys welcome back to my channel i'm here again with another video for you all and today it's going to be a travel vlog we are currently in palma at the moment in mallorca and we're staying here for around nine days i believe so i thought let's share the trip let's vlog it i'm not sure how much i'll get around to vlogging but um hopefully i can capture some content and show you all the beauty of this island so we're staying at Hotel Saratoga, which is in between Santa Catalina and the old historic center. Here's a quick room tour. As you can see, it's quite basic, but it gets the job done. And this is the view from the balcony. This hotel actually has three pools, which is great. So it has the perfect amenities for a short, quick city break. And here is my fit check for day one. So we make our way to the center and this is the day we experienced 40 degrees Celsius heat, guys. Let me tell you, it was so hot, but so beautiful. We went to the Mallorca Cathedral. Honestly, such a vibe. The grounds were beautiful. The only thing was that it was scorching hot, but I'm sure on a more mild day, it would be super lovely. So guys, we're just walking down where the cathedral is and honestly it's so hot you can just see my skin is like glistening aka sweat but yeah it's really 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 hot but really nice It was super interesting to see the gothic style cathedral inside but it was so grand and lovely to see. We then made our way to the Arab baths which was super interesting. <laughs> Lunch day one! Lunch at Sa Panineria was amazing, the best paninis we've ever had. We then made our way to a supermarket and got some fresh orange juice. Bit of evening one in Palma. I'm wearing this pink sort of jumpsuit, guys. It's from H&M. It is current season, but I think it's sold out. I bought it a month or so ago. Um, I love it, the strap detail. And of course, I have paired it with my new Longchamp bag. I got this um, gifted specifically for this trip and I'm so excited to use it. It's honestly so hot guys, um, it's 34 degrees and we're going out for dinner and it's just coming close to 7pm so which is why I'm kind of still, but I wanted to kind of wear long trousers because you guys know I always get bit by mosquitoes and it's not a vibe, trust me. I forgot to mention we're actually going to Ombu Tapas. I had seen it all over, you know, Instagram, TikTok, but also all, like all over Google. So many um, travel places recommending Ombu Tapas as like one of the best tapas places in Palma. So we're going there um, tonight and I will take you along. This is like the cute little sitting area on our floor. We went to the hotel roof terrace where there is a sky bar and it was honestly such a vibe. Views for days. So I have to be honest guys, I really feel like this place was so overrated. Although the views were great, the food was honestly so average. The drinks were nice, but yeah, really kind of unimpressed. Guys, check out this street. What a vibe. Let me just hop on over here. Look at that sunset. Now that's a vibe. Walking back to the hotel, sweltering. Look at my face, honestly. I'm like a hot mess. We went for a lovely stroll and made our way back to the hotel and had an early night. Hi guys, Palma day two. We're just heading off to the rooftop pool. I think to chill, take it easy. Um, so yeah, this is my fit for the day. It's just a loungy dress um, and I paired it with a swimsuit underneath um, and just some flip flops from Supergirl. 
After chilling poolside on the roof terrace for a few hours, we decided to actually have lunch at the Sky Bar. And let me tell you, the food was probably the best we ate in Palma. After chilling for a few more hours, we then made our way to Santa Catalina and headed on over to Mr. Zhao for some Chinese food. Honestly, disappointing. We're heading to another part of the island today, so we're checking out this hotel. Um, we're going to be sort of dotting around the island for the next five, six days. So super excited to sort of explore another part of the island. That being said, we haven't really been impressed with like Palma really as a um, as a town like the food has just not been great if I'm being completely honest and we've been you know around a bit we've kind of explored different um, places and areas and just the food has been really really kind of average so we're hoping to get better food in other parts of the island so yeah we're gonna get the bus now back to the airport so we're going to go and pick up a car and then drive you know and explore over the next few days but i think i might cut my vlog short here and keep this as a palma vlog and then maybe do an additional vlog for the rest of the island let's see but thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video interesting useful i will link all the places we visited and that i've shown on the vlog in the description box if you do have any questions please let me know thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye everyone